Hi, this is Paul from paulbarbary.com. I wanted to go through some of the features on uh, forming a watch list, how I use the watch list and how I use it as my production sheet, if you like, uh, when I'm analyzing stocks. It's the same for futures as well. Uh, you can only use watch lists from the TradingView Pro membership and above. Um, I'm, I'm a premium member. I really do believe in watch lists and, and how to use them for production. So the first thing we want to do is um, in the top right hand corner here uh, we have our watch list we've got the alarm clock underneath I've done a video recently on on alerts the thing we're going to do first is this drop down here we want to create a new list okay and I'm going to call it stocks trial okay save that so now I've got a new watch list I want to add to that watch list. the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of stocks. So I'm going to have, add HD for Home Depot. I'm going to add AMD. So what you do is when you click the plus sign, you uh, it opens up. You check. You, you want to score X, CFDs, futures, stops. You type in the search. You find the stock you want to, and then just click on it. And it adds it there to the right. So let's add another one. So I click the plus button here. I'm in stocks already, and I want to add Twilio. Okay, there it is. Click on it, and it adds it to the watch list there. So you can add as many as you want. But remember, watch lists are there for you to um, to use to work. Okay. Uh, the good thing about this is you've got a little – if you hover over the uh, HD in this case, you've got a little thing here where we can change it to – uh, different colors this is for for me for production i use different colors so for example at the moment I, i'm in hd on the short so i'm just going to put that green for me green is go it's in it's a trade we're in right now um, then i'll talk about the other colors so hd i'm in on the 195 at the moment using the expert algo i've already got my support and resistance zones in there and the short here was on the five star sell uh, so, you know, the risk reward there. Again, I show you how to do this, but when you write risk rewards, FIB, retrate, FIB um, time trend based FIB extension, put it just above the, the candle there for the entry, the stop there. And there we go. Great risk reward down to the next point. This zone. But the main thing is on the. Um, on the watch list, it's green because that's a trade I'm in. So that draws my eye straight to that straight, straight away. Now, a couple of stocks here, AMD. I'm going to work on them. I'm going to show you what I do. Right now, there's no color coding there right now. The first thing I've got to do is do a little bit of work, understand where those support and resistance zones are. So I always go to the daily time frame. So when I've got this multi-chart layout here, I'm going to click on the daily down at the bottom. Then go down to the bottom right. I'm going to maximize that chart. So the first thing for me to do is one of the things I like to define is the support and resistance zones on the daily for when I'm trading stocks. So I can see a really big one here that we need to make sure we've got on the chart. I'm going to add a few more. We've got a big one where we gapped and then we've got a triple bottom there as well. If it breaks that, that would be a really cool uh, support and resistance zone break there. Um, let's kind of go further down. Got a couple more on here. Just again, it's just a workflow for me. It's about trying to frame the chart. So it doesn't work there. I just want to go to the weekly a little bit and just see if there's any major zones I've missed. No, we picked them all up there pretty well. Um, just want to see if we've got a good trend channel here. I really, really like to put trend channels on on a larger time frame. To do that. Looking for a parallel channel here. I think it broke out of it when on this parabolic move, but I want to, I want the previous channel in there as well on the weekly um, because if it breaks down into there again, that will be pretty good. Uh, again, so I'm just going to extend that down. So I'm doing some work. I'm going to change the color here to light blue. There we go. Okay. So I've just, I've just done a little bit of work there, but what I'm trying to show you is I've, I've actually framed the chart there. So for me then on AMD, I change it to purple. So I've done the work uh, that I'm ready to do, uh, that I've just framed the chart. It's ready to go. Then I'm just going to have a look at Twilio as well. I'm going to go to the daily again. 
I'm going to look at some support and resistance zones, put them on. Big one there with that gap as well. Did actually trade that long there. Okay, so what have we got recently? Again, double bottom forming here. I think that's a good support and resistance zone there. Okay. And then one down below for a potential, if we've got another double bottom here, that pivot there as well. Okay. Again, I've done a live um, live stream session to show you how I actually put these zones together. Main thing I wanted to do there is just define where we are right now. We're going to put a topper in there as well. You can get a few touches there on that very small zone. I'm going to go to the weekly. Yeah, I do this all the time, every day when I'm looking at stocks, whether I'm looking at futures. I've got a real parabolic move just up here. I want to define that with the channel here. Really, really strong parabolic move. Okay. So I've done the work that I need to do there. So again, on the watch list, I change it to purple. So I've defined the, the ranges, if you like, of those support and resistance zones. I've put in uh, those... Um, those channels and the, the great thing about this is that when you've got that multi-chart layout everything you do on one chart goes on to the other charts so it really really helps so the next thing is um what what are the ones that i've got orders on or getting close to so i will go to amd for example i can see this double bottom here what if it breaks you know is there a signal for me that's going to be uh, reasonably good uh, for the short here just going to use the expert algo as an example right now but there's other in, uh, other indicators that i use like elliot way from trainfifth.com but right now i'm just going to use this as an example so for me on the 39 minute i've got a six star cell which is the highest grade cell on uh, the expert algo i'm looking for an entry but it's got to be below 74 dollars below this support and resistance zone okay so what I'm going to do, the, the weekly channel is not really going to affect me. What I'm looking for is actually get back in that channel. Uh, but what I want to do is make sure I'm below all of these pivots here if I'm going to go short. So what I'm going to do is just put on my entry again. It's just about workflow this, but using that watch list to sort of define where you are in that workflow. So I'm just going to put uh, an entry line on here around about 73. 360 okay let's change that to green we go that's my entry my stop i think this really needs to be above this pivot here at 79.34 okay i want to change that to red okay so i've defined my stop and entry for this potential trade uh, i am going to now put on my risk rewards i'm going to use that fib extension again one click on the stop second click on the entry and then the third click on the entry as well so i've got a great risk to reward here um of over one to two to the next linear support and resistance zone that i've already put on my chart there remember there may be a little bit of support trying to push back into that weekly channel but the, what if this negativity continues into the um into the uh, u.s elections this this could push down into that channel uh, and then the more likely scenario is if we find support here, it'll come back up to test the upper bound of the channel. We may stay in it. So as potentially, this looks like a really good trade. I've got a great risk reward, sensible entry strategy. I've got a six-star six sell on this um, on this 39 minute for AMD. So I go to my broker, I put an order on, and then I change AMD now a different color. Okay, I change it to amber. That means it's ready to go. I've put an order on. It's on with my broker. So now all of a sudden you start to see that HD is in. It's green. AMD, done the work. I've got an order on. It's amber. It's ready to go. A Twilio, I've, I, you know, I've just done all of the uh, support and resistance zones. I've put uh, channels on there. Obviously, I usually do quite a bit more work than this. Um, but I was trying to say, so uh, Twilio is my next sort of focus. Like, is there a trade there right now? Again, Twilio is coming up to support. Have we got a decent looking, 
entry for there or a, a trade on the x brad algo there's no trade there right now okay um but what i am looking for is this gap fill so if i go to the 195 or even the daily chart okay if we do push down here there could be a different type of strategy where we're actually going to you know conduct that gap fill so I would like an alert set on here, if you like. So I'd set my alerts. If it breaks this 271 sort of level, I want to be alerted to that, that um, potentially there's going to be a short here. Have a look to see if there's any more signals on the expert algo. Is there something on the roller coaster from trade the fifth or the bits, the breakout that works on volume and price action. So for now, there's no order on, but actually... I know where I want to be looking for a short, and that's going to be a little below 271. So I'd probably go and set an order up here, uh, not an order, sorry, an alert. Uh, and I do that in a separate video, but um, I'd set up an alert so it allows me to make a decision when it passes through 271. So all of a sudden now, I change from purple for me to blue. Okay, so now HD is in, it's green. AMD, there's an order on, ready to go. Twilio could be an order if it reaches that alert. So it's now in blue. So let's just add another uh, a chart at random. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Facebook. So we're going to go add a symbol again to that plus sign. We're going to search for Facebook and we're going to add it to the list. So we added it to the list. Remember, the work I do first is really important for stocks on the daily time frame. So I'm going to go to the daily time frame. I'm just going to look at uh, support and resistance zones that are going to help me uh, potentially trade this this trade. And it's you know I've just put a couple on here. I've not done a lot of great deal of work on Facebook on this particular chart set. I think it's a really good support and resistance zone there. I think really we got this recent. One there as well. Let's top it out with the topper here. So if it does come down, have we got some support here? I think we have with the gap fill as well. So we're going to go to that low pivot here. And the gap fill there. Okay. So I've got a great looking uh, set of uh, support and resistance zones. Uh, I'm going to go to the weekly again just to look at a channel to see if there's anything there. Uh, I mean, to be honest, there's a longer term channel there as well um, that is really, really strong. I'm going to put that in. I like that one a lot on Facebook. Um, okay, so I'm going to put that channel in there. Okay, so I've done some work on it. Uh, you know, I have not looked for a potential trade or anything like that. Happy with what I've done so far. I mean, there could be another parabolic channel here right now uh, that we're looking at. I'm going to just put that in as a different color. Uh, center line's really important for me on these channels. I think we're breaking out of that channel right now, so I'm not. So I'm just going to probably put that in. Just extend it up a little bit. Change the color. Go purple. Okay, so we have just broken out of that uh, parabolic move and we're back into the longer term channel on Facebook. Um, so I've done my work. Uh, not no real signals right now. There is a six star signal on um, on the thirty nine minute, but right now it's getting on. I just want to make sure that I can let myself know when I come back to my watch list that I have done the main work framing the chart, support and resistance zones and channels and everything like that. And that's as far as I want to go. So again, just to recap, you know, start your watch list as you want to go on, add the symbols you want to do by clicking that plus button and then use it as your, your worksheet, if you like. So once you've worked through HD, for example, you've done all your work, you've put a, an entry strategy on, you're actually in a trade, go green. AMD, we're, we're, we're amber. We've, we've done all our work. We've got an order on, ready to go. That is amber. So pre-market, one of my things to be looking at, anything that's in amber, 
all green, I need to be looking at pre-market on that price action. Twilio is blue. So I've done the work. There's a potential trade. I've got an alert on, so it's in blue. And then Facebook's in purple. All I've done is done the support and resistance zones. Uh, and, you know, and that's as far as I've gone. There's no order on, no potential trade right now. But uh, everything is in place uh, for when I want to go back and work on Facebook. So hopefully that helps. Again, use the watch list to your advantage there. Make sure your workflow and the color coding that you use works for you.